Welcome back, everyone. In this video, you'll see how you can connect your application that's running on Cloud Run to Firestore. Firestore is Google Cloud's NoSQL database built for automatic scaling, high performance, and ease of application development. In this demo, I'll go over step by step how to read and write to Firestore from your web app. We'll start this demo in the Cloud Shell editor. You'll see a Python Flask app that can save and retrieve user input to and from Firestore. To use Firestore, you'll need to enable the Cloud Firestore API, which I've previously enabled. In this Flask app, I have an input box where a user will enter data and then we'll see their saved data below on the page. Let's get started connecting our app to Firestore. First, we'll need to include our client library in the requirements.txt file. Next, I'll add the Firebase client library in my code. And now I'll create a reference to the Firestore database. Now I'll add the code that will write some data to Firestore. And here it will be whatever text the user enters. And to verify our data is in Firestore, I'll just display the newly added data below on the page. This also demonstrates how Firestore keeps your data updated in real time. Now our code is ready to go. Before we deploy, let's talk about following the principle of least privilege. You can create a service account that will be used as the identity of the Cloud Run service that will only have access to read and write from Firestore. Let's go to service accounts and create new service account. We'll give it a name, Firestore-SA. I'm going to copy the email address that serves as the service account identifier. And I'll create the service account now. I'll give the service account access to Firestore using the role Cloud Data Store User. I am now done creating the service account and giving it the permissions that it needs. You can see the newly created service account at the bottom of the list. Now we are ready to deploy to Cloud Run. I'm going to copy a command and go back to the Cloud Shell editor. I'm going to open up a terminal window. and maximize it. So this is using the gcloud run deploy command. Then it provides the name of the service. Then it provides the location of the source code. And lastly, it is using a, a service account flag, specifying the uh, email address of the service account that will be used as a cloud run identity for the service. I'll hit enter. And then I am prompted for the region because it uh, is a required field and I didn't include it in the command. And I'll also say allow um, unauthenticated invocations is an another required command because we want to use this as a public site. As this deploys, I should note that I've previously created a default database that is multi-regional. If you have not yet created the, a default database yet, don't stress, you'll get an error uh, message here in this uh, terminal window that will include a link where to go to create a database in your desired location. The build just completed and end to end, it took a couple of minutes. 
Now Cloud Run is creating the revision and then it will route 100% of the traffic to the newly created revision. Now that our service is deployed, let's actually check it out first in the Cloud Console. Let's go to the Revisions tab. And then under Security, we'll see the service account that we created earlier. And that is what Cloud Run is using as its identity to read and write to Firestore. Now I'm ready to visit my web app. I'll add some data in the input form. And then I'll click Save, and I see the Hello World echoed back to me. Now let's head over to Firestore in the Cloud Console. I'll open that default database. And here we can see the collection, the document, and the text, Hello World. To recap, you saw how you can connect your Cloud Run service to Firestore, which is Google Cloud's NoSQL database. You also saw how you can create and use a service account as the Cloud Run service identity, which follows the best practice of least privilege to access Firestore. You can check out the following collab that I wrote on how to upload and serve images using Cloud Storage, Firestore, and Cloud Run. Thank you for watching this video.